appreciate and I recognize some employees that have done some incredible work for us this year. So if you'll give me a few minutes to read some notes, and then we're gonna roll tape, okay? So this person wanted to recognize Megan Boyd. Yeah! <laughs> tirelessly to make us look good everywhere in her graphics, on her website, at the events, on her handouts, and on the walls of the station. She has one of those jobs that no one notices unless she stops doing it. It is because of her that our presence everywhere is both colorful and memorable. Hands down, Megan. She never seemed to come into work stressed out, exhausted, or with a short temper because of all the planning, which is miraculous. Personally, she also stood by me when I made an error with a client of hers, and through her understanding and diplomacy, held on to that business and endorsement. So congrats and thank you for that. regular life. <laughs> Andrew is also extremely helpful and versatile, but Alex is amazing. He's always helping someone and has a pleasant attitude every single day, and it's a huge boost to the cluster. This person also said, then of course there's Megan Stone, who was just born perfect. things, but in addition to all of the worky stuff, she cares for all of us. I mean, not for anything, but like so many of you like wrote me big long things. Like that's really nice, you know? She always has her office stocking treats for the taking. Yeah. She, she's even made me coffee and brought it to me on days when she thought I was super busy. Also scoring major points was when she gave me her mac and cheese because we had a long day and she knew I was hungry. And she's legitimate personality and radio star. Lies! At many PLR events, you now hear just as many Where's Pam as you hear Where's the McWig Master. From helping the morning show win a Marconi Award to being asked to go host Better Connecticut and doing an excellent job with no prior experience, to her crowning achievement of ignoring a phone call from the president of the University. An in-demand personality for <laughs> Connoisseur
to the attention of this very difficult group. So thank you, Megan.
Drew was the first winner. So, I mean, how could he not win? I mean, he just thought of everything. 2016, Doug! He didn't teach him everything he knows. He might have picked up something here or there. Uh, a lot of it's in the personality. I know I, for one, uh, when I have Tristan working a promotion, I feel better because I know he's got my back and uh, things are going to go great. And he picks up and does whatever he can around the station. He's always looking for stuff to do. So, it's no wonder to me that uh, Tristan won this year. Congratulations. Thank you. say something nice and I say from the bottom of my heart and I mean it when I say you know we've worked together for a very very long time and whenever I know you're working with me I never worry I know everything is going to be great no one deserves this more than you and I'm so happy to have your name join mine on that congratulations Obviously, a couple more. Uh, I remember back in our days at CSB, man. We certainly do that right now. I'm taking on a huge role here at the stations, and it's incredible watching working. Uh, you're just you're the same guy you've always been. Happy go lucky, you will ever change. Don't we'll cut go too much to your head now, okay? Uh, we lost some fun tonight, and uh, congratulations again. Congratulations, Tristan. You are the Connoisseur Cup winner. You are a true connoisseur. I know that whenever I go to an event and I see you, I know everything's going to be perfect. We appreciate all your efforts, and we wouldn't be the same without you. Thanks again for all you do, and we love having you.